Hi guys and welcome to this Bootstrap 4 video tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and Webdesign and TechTips.com. In this series of videos we're going to start building a Bootstrap 4 site using the brackets text editor. Bootstrap 4 is absolutely awesome. I use it for building many sites and I use it over WordPress every time if I'm not building a blog or an e-commerce site. So if you're going to follow along with this, go to brackets.io, I'll put the link down below this video, and download the Brackets free software here. As I say, it's free, won't cost you anything, and it's absolutely awesome. Once you've got that installed, go ahead and open it up. Yours might look slightly different. Um, you can change the view by going up to the View tab in here. If you click on the themes, I'm using the dark theme at the moment. You've got a, an option to use the light theme if you prefer it. I, I like the dark one. Uh, I find the text stands out a lot easier. Okay, next thing we want to do to enable us to build Bootstrap really easy is to add an extension. So if we go to File, go down to Extension Manager, it'll open up this little box. And for our purposes, just let it load there. Just type in Bootstrap into the search box there, and it's going to give us all the available extensions for Bootstrap. Now, I've already got a bunch installed, but the one we want to start with for this course is the Bootstrap Starter Template. And as I've got it installed, the install button's grayed out, but all you need to do is hit the install button. So once you've done that, go ahead and close out. You may, to, may need to restart brackets. Some of these plugins or extensions ask you to restart it. Some of them don't. Some of them enable straight away. Once installed, we can quickly and easily create our first bootstrap template. And as you see, I've hit File, New, and down below, is new bootstrap template you can either click on that or hit control alt b and there we have it it's automatically generated a starter template for us with a nav bar and a little bit of text in a container underneath and this is bootstrap 4 as you can see on line 13 here it's drawing in all the code bootstrap 4.00 beta 3 and you say to yourself well this is a bunch of junk. Uh, it doesn't look like a website to me. <laughs> well, this is HTML, and this is the bare bones of any website. Once we have our template loaded, we need to save it. And seeing as it's a single page at the moment, we'll, we'll save it as index.html. So go up to File, hit Save As, navigate to the folder where you want to save it, I've just got one here called BS4 site and we'll give it a name and it must have that .html at the end so it's index.html because index.html or index.php is the file that a browser will always look for first that's why we give it an index name first so we'll save that now once that's saved go to our folder where we have that file and double click on it and it'll open it in your default browser. There we go. I'm using Chrome. If you're following along with this series of videos, I suggest you use Chrome as well because it's fantastic. I use the, the Chrome Inspector all the time for editing my CSS. By just hitting F12, it'll bring up our developer tools inspector panel here and if you've got that styles tab highlighted we can edit our CSS on the right hand side and our HTML on the left hand side as long as we've got the elements tab highlighted there and you can experiment with your CSS and change things around on the site without actually doing any permanent changes so you can try out ideas and then copy it into a style sheet and speaking of style sheets, that's what we're going to do next. So let's just get this one out of the way and have a look at what we've got on our template here. 
So it's an HTML document. We're using the UTF character set, which is standard for all European style websites. It's got a meta name, and this is telling it to be responsive, to stretch the device width that it's being viewed on. Here you want to put your site description. If it's about web design, you know, you put web design and whatever it is. Uh, you put your name or company name there. This is where you put your favicon. Now a favicon, let's look back at that bracket site. I'm sure a lot of you already know this. Favicon is that little icon that appears in the tab there. Here's its little title here. And that's where you want to put a title for your site. Again, this is what appears in the tab here at the top. Moving on down, here we've got the Bootstrap Core CSS. And it's linking to an online file here, which is great because we don't have to load anything physical. It's CDN uh, for the CSS description files to help us build our site here. Here it's got a bit of a custom style for this little template that we've got up here. Now we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping here to get this ready to customize our site for later videos. And I'm going to put this style in a separate style sheet. And it's pretty easy to do. And I'm just going to drop that down. And I'm going to call it custom CSS which is pretty standard for this sort of project and all it is is a little pointy bracket exclamation two dashes a space whatever you want to call it and the same thing on the end and that's just a comment to let us know what this is here and we're going to create a file in a minute that we're going to want to link to so let's go ahead and create our custom CSS file where we'll place this stuff here. So let's quickly save this by hitting Control S. And I don't know if you noticed there, there was a little dot beside our index HTML there. If there's a little dot there, it indicates that you've not that you've made some changes and you've not saved. So once you hit your Control S or saved it, that little dot will go away. So let's create a new document. Once we've got our new document, let's give it a, a quick title. We'll give it a comment here. So this is comments that won't be read. Forward slash star star forward slash and then write your comment in between. This way it won't be read by the browser of CSS. Now let's save this file, save as. We want to save it into a new folder inside the folder that we've just saved our index.html file in. So let's open that up, we'll hit new folder and we'll just call it CSS. And once we've created our folder, we need to save our file. I'm just going to call mine custom.css. You can call yours what you want, you just want to make sure you have a .css after it as it's a cascading style sheet. And we'll save that. Now if we go back to our index.html, just above it, we want to add our link. So it's going to tell our browser to look for this style sheet in a certain place, which is in our CSS file there. So we want to do a little opening pointy bracket and write link, L-I-N-K. Then href, which is a hyperlink reference, equals a couple of sets of double inverted commas there. And there we want to select our CSS file. It's already prompted us, but if it hadn't have done, just write CSS forward slash. And then inside is our custom CSS.
custom.css. And then after this, we need to tell it what it is, and it's a style sheet. So it's rel equals inverted commas again, style sheet. That tells the browser what it is there. And then, of course, close out our pointy brackets at the end there. Okay, and we want to make sure when you're doing this, you put this below the bootstrap core CSS because that way it'll get this last and it'll override what's in there for when we want to customize things. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to copy this code across because this is just dictating a few things that they've got going on in this starter template here. And we don't need the style or the style on the bottom. We just need the body and the padding top and all that. From the beginning of the body to the end of that last curly bracket there. Control C to copy. Back to our CSS sheet, drop down a couple, give it a bit of space. And there we have it. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Just hitting my backspace key. And then shift tab when I've got a couple highlighted like that. It's a good, good idea to keep everything in line. It makes it a lot easier to read. And then if anybody else is reading your code, it makes it a lot easier for them as well. And there's those two little dots I was talking about earlier, telling us that we haven't saved our edits here. So let's save, Control S. That's our cascading style sheet. Back to our index.html. And we can completely delete this little section now because We are now drawing our CSS from our custom CSS file that we've just created. So once we save this, Control S, let's just check on our site again. Just double click on the index.html to bring it up in our browser. And there we have it. We're now drawing our CSS styles from our new CSS custom file that we created. So there we are, we've created the bare bones of our site, created our folder and our custom style sheet. In the next video we're going to create a slider for this site. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, please take one of our courses below. We have some great premium courses, heavily discounted for our YouTube subscribers. We've also got some fantastic free courses down there. And don't forget you can download the free brackets text editing software from a link below. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.